Hey everybody, I hope you are doing well. I'm Afefe with Touched by Tarot and I am here to do a pick a card reading for you all. This is a message from your future self. I'm feeling like it's going to be future in terms of time period. I was asking spirit as I prepared to tape and they're telling me three to six months. Okay, so that's going to take you through you know, through the spring maybe of 2024, all right? So we're gonna go, I've got three cards in front of me. These are the catalyst cards. I'm gonna pull for you, I don't have them. Typically when I do Pipka cards, I have all the cards out in front of me, but uh, they only let me to several decks today. They want me to be really concise with you. So that's what I'm channeling, that's what I got. I'm gonna go right in for you all. I've got pile one, two and three these are going to be catalyst cards and it's going to these are doors so pay attention to the pattern and see what you're pulled to door number one okay hold that up a little bit longer door number one door number two okay make sure take a moment with that and then we have door number three Okay, so take a moment, take a breath, check in with your intuition and see which one of those doors is really calling you. All right, do it. One, they're telling me show you one more time. Door number one, door number two, or door number three. And of course, always follow your intuition. You may feel lit to go, you know, attracted to more than one door or all three. Just go with what you feel, because if you do, I guarantee you there's a message there for you. All right. Okay, so having said that, we're gonna put doors two and three aside. Door number one, those of you who really were pulled to that, your message from this catalyst says deeper. You are not finished, you're not done yet, or you're not yet done. Dig deeper and deeper, the best is to come. Hold on, hold on. Let me hold that up for you. So that is your overarching message from your future self, to hold on. Whatever you you are planning, what you're doing, what you're working on, um, your self-development, I'm feeling for a lot of you. It is your spiritual growth and your self-development. And there's a part of you that may be feeling like for everything that you've done so far, you're not quite sure what's next. You feel You may be feeling like, you know, there's already been so much work done to develop yourself, to reach your goals, to manifest, to grow, to heal, to to move beyond your current circumstances that, you know, you can reach a, a plateau or a space where I'm not quite sure what my next step should be. And Spirit is saying here, go deeper. It's time to dig deeper. You're not finished. Hold on. All right. So let's go in on tarot now and see what that means. Spirit digging deeper i'm gonna keep that message facing me digging deeper and holding on what did you want those who chose door number one your future self what is their future self trying to communicate to them to dig deeper to hold on in what regard in what way what do they need to know okay let's see we have the Eight of Cups. We have the Five of Swords. And we have the Two of Pentacles or Two of Earth in this deck. You know, that, that, this really makes sense. Digging deeper, some of you are at the point of moving on from something that you're not quite done with yet. And I say that because your central card is this, um, this eight of cups or eight of water, they call it. This is speaking to you being in a frame of mind of, of 
having done, we talked about this going in before we even saw these cards, having done so much that you're really ready to move on to the next phase of something. You feel like you've grown. The Eight of Cups is very much a card. I say this often. It is a card of emotional maturity. It is emotional intelligence. It's being able to move on um, emotionally, mentally, passionately from a state of life that you may have been in for a period of time. And you're like, okay, I'm ready for more growth. I'm ready to take the next step. I have the courage. I've done the healing work, but the five of swords, you all is saying there's still information that see all those books in the background. There's information that you still need. There's, there's some form of communication about what that next thing is that hasn't quite come clear for you yet. And that's why your catalyst, that door you chose is saying to go deeper because on the surface, you won't find it on the surface. You won't find it just by, um, just sort of talking yourself through it or, or waiting for it to come to you, you know, waiting for, you know, we all tend to, you know, we're looking for a sign, right? But spirit is saying here, this two of earth, two of pentacles is saying there's a partnership that you have to form, um, either with someone else or a deeper partnership with your higher self. There's something where in order for that idea to really click and you to know what's next, what, what it is now that you've already done so much and you're ready to move on, graduate as it were. Now, you know, how do you choose that? You're going to choose it by building a partnership in a very grounded way. That's pentacles. You're going to build a partnership with your higher self and with your guides. But also I feel for some of you, this is a physical uh, partnership. This is someone who you may want to think about going into business with, or even just having a, a workout buddy or having a, a, a manifestation buddy or someone who is on this, a similar path so that you can work with them. You know how they say sometimes two heads are better than one. I think that's what's happening here. You all, I want to get a little more clarity on that spirit. We have the seven of earth. Okay, seven of pentacles. Yes, it's a time to assess that partnership that's going to get you clarity around how what that next thing is that's going to really light you up. Your future self within the next three to six months, pile number one, and the four of pentacles. All this earthy energy coming around you. For sure. Thank you for the clarity, spirit. For pile number one, you going deeper, it is... Within the next six months, three to six months, your your future self is going to show you evidence of everything that you went through to get to this point, the evidence of having grown. It's one thing to acknowledge it for yourself and to make some decisions for yourself to move on, but to have the tangible evidence in front of you to say, this is exactly what I see now, the differences in my life, the differences in my health, the differences in my finances. It's evidence of these changes that you've made and the work that you've done. And it's a partnership that you're gonna form that's gonna help you get there, all right? You're gonna form that partnership um, within the next three to six months. And it could be, again, if it's on a more spiritual angle, it's gonna be a deeper connection to yourself, your intuition. Some of you are, uh, I feel certainly, some of you are spiritualists. And you are building your skills. You are learning to trust your, your intuition. You're maybe channeling. You're maybe working with tarot or oracles. But you're actually demonstrating to yourself. And that's what you're going to come like full, full steam ahead over the next three to six months. Where you're going to start to see your abilities really grow. Because this is actual evidence that spirit is going to show you. And you have alligator magic that's coming for you. That's a period of wait and see, but also understanding that, that, you know, it's not the prettiest thing to look at, but in terms of when we think sim, um, symbolically and the medicine that that brings you all, pile number one, this is not overextending yourself. The seven of pentacles is also a card of that seven of earth is a card of sometimes having to stop and take stock of what's happening around you and, and taking a moment to pause and reflect before you move ahead because the alligator is, you know, we know that, um, as a species, alligators can be very still, um, almost 
camouflage themselves in their surroundings so that no one sees them coming. When they strike, they usually are able to get what they're after because of their suddenness of movement after a period of stillness. That's the digging deeper. There's, there's this time element here, three to six months that your future self is saying, take this time over the next three to six months to figure out who you can partner with so that you're going to see what it is that you want to go after. So that after that period of stillness, when you come out of that water and get ready to quote unquote strike, you know, strike your target, reach that goal, go for that next job, open that business, develop those skills, you know, take the workshop, etc. Whatever it is that you're going for, you will do it and you will do it swiftly and you will do it in ways that perhaps surprise others and even yourself. All right. You have innovation, new creations. Wow. Is that not, that's your closing card. And it totally confirms what we're seeing here for you because that's your future self saying, if you are ready to, to innovate, you're ready for new, uh, new creations. That's, that's all of what we were seeing here, starting with that, that eight of cups that, you know, you've gone through this, this period of testing. You've gone through this period of healing and emotional maturity, emotional intelligence. You've gone through balancing your, your emotions and your thoughts. You've gone through balancing in, in business, figuring out what the plan needs to be. Now you're ready to innovate and you're ready to prepare yourself for these new creations and you're going to be successful at them. But the thing is the planning, this is all planning for you all over the next three to six months. Your future self is saying the, the, the ability to get what you want is there. No problem with that, that alligator medicine. And definitely I would recommend if you chose this door, look up alligators in terms of their metaphysical properties, in terms of their, as a totem, the totem energy, because you are ready to do something new. Go in a new direction, start a new venture, start a new, explore a new skill. Again, I go back to some of you. This feels very spiritual for me. You're ready to tackle and go into developing your own spiritual gifts. And to do that, you need a good partner. You need a teacher. You need someone who's, who's on the same path as you willing to, you know, wants to take that class with you or develop that plan with you, develop that business with you, do a project together. But there's that synergy that's going to happen between you and someone else. And that is what is going to make you want to go deeper so that you can move forward with this innovation. There's something within you that is unique, that is innovative, that is ready to do things your way. People will be be astounded at they're giving me. Actually astounded. Wow, that's a powerful word. Astounded by your growth and your and your um, evolution and and how you bring a fresh perspective to what it is that you're going to do. Again, whether that is in a business context, a personal context, your relationships, but all of it hinges on you being, taking the time that you need, that seven of pentacles, taking the time that you need, building a solid partnership with someone or something, an organization, uh, a school, even something that gives you that gives you the, the motivation to want to go deeper, to want to go through that beautiful door that you chose, okay? And lying in wait, because when you move, conserving your energy, conserving your money, conserving your movements, because that four of earth is laying the foundation for when you do strike, quote unquote, there is success. There is absolutely success behind it. All right, pile number one. That's that message for your future from your future self over the next three to six months, planning, partnering, and then being motivated, ready to go strike when it, when the time is right. All right. Okay. I love that for you. Let me know how that goes. Moving on now, pile number, uh, door number two, those of you who chose this door opening out into that beautiful walkway, that pathway, your message says, begin here. Do not fear what travel brings, my dear. The moment is yours. Begin now and here. So there is over the next three to six months for those of you who chose this door, 
Your future self is saying, we are about to start a new journey. And it starts here. It starts with going through this portal and down that path. Let's see where that path is leading you. And what spirit says. For pile of door number two, those who got begin here with the path spirit. What do they need to know? What does their future self want them to know for the next three to six months? The next three to six months as they begin here. The next three to six months as they begin here. You have the Hierophant. Ooh, new beginnings in something you are learning, something in your faith, something in your spiritual work with the Queen of Cups. The Hierophant, the Queen of Cups, this is something you're really passionate about or you will feel passionate, passionate about, door number two. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is something in a professional context as well. Or something that you will rise to a level of mastery. Eights are a card of mastery. It is a card of hard work and it comes in pentacles. So this is actual like demonstrable work. This is something that you would have to show for what you're doing. It is dedication to a craft, a skill, a business. And the Hierophant is that master teacher. The Hierophant is a lot having having a lot to do with our faith, the structure of our faith, the foundation of our faith, the foundation of what makes us um, know what we know and and really stand on it. You know where we're not easily swayed, ruled by Taurus. So there is that sense of, of of having that strong stability, that strong foundation, and then coming with that Queen of Cups. There's this generosity of spirit. There's this, look at that beautiful swan there, you know? The Queen of Cups brings that beautiful, nurturing, generous, uh, generosity, sense of generosity. And I'll tell you what, your future self is about, is calling for you to go ahead and go through this door, number two, and begin to rise up and utilize the skills that you gained in a new way like or or to go deeper in in the way that you are currently using them it's almost like you're ready to graduate and be your own guru be your own teacher be your own boss but doing it under the auspices of generosity teaching more what you know for some of you there may be i'm feeling some artistry here uh for some of you all arts in it could be literary arts musical arts and spiritual arts, but there's something that you have been working on and it is time for you to begin to come out and show it and demonstrate it and, and share it with others, that, that queen of cups, that generous spirit. It's time for others to be able to see what you have to offer and for you to step up and be ready to offer it, offer your your expertise, the 10 of pentacles. Absolutely. It's going to benefit you financially and it's going to benefit you, um, in your standing, in your, in your community, in your ability, the ace of earth. I love this. This is a new income stream for you all. And it's a new, it's a new, um, let me, let me back that up a little bit. The income comes as a result of this work, your ability to put your, I feel again, I'm going back to arts. Some of you know how to make things and maybe you've been downplaying, you know, you may be one of those people who gifts your creations to people and, and then they'll go, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Have you thought about marketing it or selling it? And you go, oh no, it's just something I do in my personal time. You know, spirit is saying, guess what? It's time that Hierophant is saying, you have mastered the skill, eight of pentacles. And now it's time to share that gift the, the Queen of Cups, share your gift, be generous with your gift with others because the Ten of Earth is showing that need for it. It's going to give you some form of stability with the Ace of Earth. You've got both, you've got the full spectrum of pentacles in tarot. You're going from the Ace, the raw potential to grow it, to the Ten, the fullness of it. And you've laid so much groundwork for it already, door number two. 
that's the thing that I'm seeing for you all. This is not you when this begin here is not saying start from scratch on what it is that you're going to do. It's saying be willing to go through the doors and take that next step to really show the world what it is that you've been working on. Show the world your mastery, show the world your skills, show the world your your knowledge and sharing your knowledge with the world and in doing so it brings you your future self is saying next three to six months it's going to start to unlock some doors for you both in your social standing um and when i say standing i don't mean that in terms of ego and hierarchy i mean people coming toward you supporting what you do, being willing to financially support what you do, and also just be a part of your tribe, your family. You know, those who want to circle around you and say, yes, we are willing to help you get the word out. We, If you need, you know, help from us to, to do a website, whatever it is that you need, three to six months, your future self is saying, it's coming. It's coming door number two. It's coming. And it really, all it's really requiring from you is the recognition of your own brilliance, the recognition of your own hard work and an open heart being ready to let it flow. River of Blessings is your final card. Releasing constraints. Wow, if that is not a confirmation of what we're talking about. The constraints would be any, you know, that downplaying. Remember I used the example of what if you're the person who knows, you know, you give wonderful gifts or you make things or um, some of you, even when I said the arts earlier, you could be a uh, culinary arts. I'm feeling some of you are really good at baking or cooking in some way. And then when you, when you do things for people, when you entertain, people are full of praise, but you've been sort of, you know, sometimes you're humble and, and you can downplay that. And spirit is saying, your future self is saying, it is time to get ready. That river of blessings, that 10 of pentacles, that, 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 um, that financial blessing that we saw, the blessing of others, the blessing of support, the human support, the, the blessing of spirit to open your heart and allow this abundance to just flow. Notice you got that queen of cups and then you got this river of blessings. There's this watery flowing energy. And what is this energy flowing into or around door number two? All of this earth, the hierophant, is ruled by Taurus. What is Taurus? An earth sign. You have the eight of earth, this mastery of skills with the gamut of pentacles from the ace to the 10. The potential to start something begin here. The potential to start something to the absolute, absolute fullness of it. And that is releasing the, the constraints and that's where your river of blessings starts to flow in door number two, okay? So it's really just acknowledging your own abilities, acknowledging the, the fruits of your labor and being ready to put them out there. That's why you're going through that door. And even that is such an earthy energy, right? Going through down that path where there's that beautiful tree that's growing. There is so much earth around you all that chose this door. I wonder, again, if you are into what it is that you do is um, is tied somehow to something tangible. Food, artwork, jewelry, crafts, writing, books, um, websites, just think things that people can actually utilize and use. That's something that your skills are very strong at. Um, and you, within the next three to six months, your future self is saying, it is time for us to actually go through this door and begin to, to put it out there, begin to see how it is received. And it's going to be received beautifully, door number two. All right? That's the next three to six months from your future self. Let me know how that goes. I would love to hear from you. Wow. Very, very powerful time for you. And finally, moving on, those of you who chose this door number three, it's like wide open skies. You can see the moon, I think that is, that feels like the moon out there in the distance, all right, in the sky. But that's, let's see what's up for you. Your, it is the moon. I just looked at the message. It says, draw down the moon. 
The forest nymphs dance in sheer delight, singing soft songs. Find us in the wild. Good night. All right. So your your um, future self is definitely on a spiritual journey over the next three to six months. Uh, door number three, and that journey, that drawing down the moon, is about attraction. It is about manifestation. It is about what you are bringing to you. And it's something that's being brought to light. For those of you who chose this this door, there's it's like a dawning of a new day for you all. Over the next three to six months, your future self is showing, a, opening a door, like literally opening up a door to illuminate something that's going to grow and expand you tremendously like really grow and expand you. And the thing with the moon is, yes, it, it happens at night, but notice how in this particular depiction, it's being shown because we know when there's a full moon and you go outside in the morning, you still see it. You know, you see it for quite a time, even during daylight hours. There's something about your ability to attract and your future self is showing you, draw down the moon. The moon has a lot to do with the tides, you know, the electromagnetic forces of the earth. There's something for you all in the next three to six months. Door number three, your future self is saying, we are here for it. We are ready for it. You have the Knight of Swords. This is you studying. With the Two of Wands, exactly, studying a plan for the future, developing a plan for the future, casting, um, and I'm going to say this in the way that spirit is giving it to me, but, but let's, you know, let's process that. But I feel casting spells, but I don't mean that in a manipulative way. I mean it in a way that we, you can assert your desires. And because the two of wands is a card of goals it is it is having a focused intention that you can see the way forward but in you can you can't see the destination but you can see the steps that you're going to have to take to get there basically okay it's like having a road map a good old fashioned road map and you know what your destination is but it could be some place you've never traveled to before and so the first thing that you have to do step by step with a two of fire or two of wands is to say here's my direction here's the direction i need to set off in trusting and believing that that destination you set for yourself that manifestation drawing down the moon is is going to be there. You will make it. And the Knight of Swords is, Knights are movement, and that Knight of Swords is you speaking it into existence. You literally speaking it, writing it, any form of communication with air, getting those wheels in motion. And you have the six, ooh, wow, are you on a journey or are you about to go on a journey? You have the six of air or the six of swords as well. Both of these cards are very much future, uh, future focused. The Six of Swords is taking a new direction. Again, you may not see exactly what the end point is going to look like, but for you all who chose this door, it is more about setting off on the journey at this time. The, this next three to six months, your future self is saying, we are ready, you know, you're ready to go, you're ready to explore, you're ready to have this sort of sense of adventure. With the four of swords, a lot of air around you all. You may be an air sign. Uh, those of you who were drawn to this this third door, a lot of you may be um, um, Aries, I'm sorry, not Aries, Gemini, um, Libra and, and Aquarius, sun, moon, or rising. There's a lot of air around you. And it's all, for you all, so much of this ability to attract and magnetize is about your thought processes. It is about how you are able, the four of, of swords or air is about getting that clarity, taking the time to get clear about what your direction is so that when you're moving, going back to your knight of swords, when you're moving, you're not moving blindly. You're moving with a definite goal in mind of where it is that you want to go. One more spirit. With death. Wow, how powerful is that? 
this is truly a transformative time and a time of rebirth for you. Didn't your card say something about birth? No, it just says uh, forest nymphs. N nymphs feel like that, though. Dance in sheer delight. This is a time. And then find us in the wild. This is so much about, about exploration, you know? Finding yourself in the wild. Taking that, taking that ability or taking the opportunity to have this rebirth in this transformational experience. For some of you, I feel like you may even be willing to go like on a retreat or take a vacation or visit somebody you haven't seen in a long time. There's something new uh, that's going to take you forward over the next three to six months. And, and it's something that you may not, you can't see what the end result is going to be. But I think that's part of the adventure for you all, door number three. And, and it's the, just the ability to attract. And some of you may say, yeah, that all sounds good. I just don't have any idea where I want to go or who I'd want to go with. Like there's those open-ended questions, but that's a part of then the next three to six months, your future self is saying, that is what's going to come clear. That's why that four of, of swords is there because that's the time period where you're going to start to get extremely um, honed in and focused going back to that two of wands that you had, you're going to get really focused. But, but, but here's what you, I want you to hold on to. This journey is really transformational. It is a period of rebirth for you all. It is a period of like really seeing life in a, from a fresh perspective, you know, the forest nymphs, like having, having that, that freedom to dance and feel you know, feel fresh, feel alive, feel renewed. That's what death is bringing you, that sense of renewal and rebirth after a period of... So for some of you, it feels like a period of stagnation or a period of just isolation or doubt or slowing down. Angelic assistance, divine guidance, and loving support. So that's what spirit... This is your closing card. Spirit wants you to know your, your, your future self is saying... Call on your guides, call on your angels, call on those who you trust to give you the assistance to direct your path. You have a goal and you will have a goal. You know where it is that you want to go, or at least at the very least, how you want to feel, you know, how you want to feel free. You want to have a sense of adventure. You want to feel awakened. You want to feel alive you want to feel like you have a sense of purpose that six of, of of swords a sense of purpose going towards something and that inspires you but you need that you may need that angelic don't we all need that angelic assistance it's that divine guidance so basically if if you would talk yourself out of doing something because you don't trust your own navigation system right spirit is saying that's okay angelic assistance and loving support that divine guidance will be there for you as you begin to take these next steps towards your your new goals this feels like something new for you all and it feels wondrous it feels like a sense of discovery it feels like you meeting people or going places or experiencing things that you hadn't really previously thought about before but there's no turning back with that death card that rebirth there's no turning back from it there's no turning back from it and there's this there's this beauty that awaits you this this sense of wonder and discovery that awaits you you know as you go through those doors when you start to feel a little lost and not sure what your next steps are, ask your guides for a sign. Ask them for a sign, and they are showing up here in this reading to say, we will give you a sign. We will be there for you, all right? Okay, pile number three, this was beautiful. I would love to hear from you and love to hear how that goes. Um, I am offering, I'll post a, a link to my, my blog post about it. I am, if you haven't heard already, I am offering a tarot class, a workshop. It's going to, uh, all the details are going to be outlined in the blog. I'll put the link uh, down below for you. Really excited. Registration is going to close on November 20th, you all. So if you're interested, 
take a look at at the offering uh the description i give you i gave you in the blog post if you have any questions don't hesitate to reach out to me at touchbytarot at gmail.com all right if you want to book a reading with me a personal reading you can go to my website which is truly touched by tarot Dot com. And other than that, I will see you all really soon. Take good care of yourselves and go through those doors. Bye.